3 dear students hope you all are fine due to covid 19 you are staying at home but don't waste your time because you have to sit for exam i mohammad firoz alam your english teacher of milestone college welcome you all to my class our today's topic is solving model question so everybody write class work number our today's class work number is 37 and today's model question number is 25 okay before starting text we will learn some meanings of the difficult words from the passages as if you can understand the passages very well everybody write in your class work copy first word i have written use meaning of the word is lars everybody write it second word is invention meaning of the word is discovery next word recent meaning that has happened a short time ago dream meaning of the word is imagination continent meaning mainland so i think these are the difficult words from the passages other words you can understand easily because because it is from eft so the passages from eft these passages are easy passages now we are going to the text it is page number 371 Page number three hundred seventy one. Model question twenty five. Page three hundred seventy one. Now come to the text. Everybody open at page three hundred seventy one. So the passage is about wonders of the world. We are going to the text. People often speak about the wonders of the past. mostly they are huge buildings and constructions they are awesome and fabulous no doubt but the wonders of the present world are also unbelievable read about the following recent inventions first passage is regarding computers so the invention of the computer is very important in human life it has changed the lifestyle of people in the world we use it in every sphere of our life we can use it for studies communication watching movies listening to music 
playing games, etc. In a moment, we can get information from any part of the world on the computer. People do not feel lonely as they can send emails to their friends and relatives. Some of their friends and relatives also live in far off countries. Even they can talk to them face to face on the Skype. With computer, a person can always keep himself updated. Everybody should learn to use the computer. In fact, the computer has made people's work easier and faster. At present, it has become a part of our daily life. Okay, so this is all about computers. Next passage is regarding space travel. Not hundred years before, human beings used to think, had I the wings of a bird? Dream came true when the Wright brothers flew with the first airplane. Now, people travel faster than a bird. They not only travel from one continent to another continent, they travel from one planet to another planet. That human beings have set footsteps on the moon is now an old story. Space caps have won the Mars. Even now and then, space caps are going to see the conditions of other planets. As a result, people are planning to be inter-space citizens in the coming days. A day will come when people will live in the moon, take education from the Jupiter, and spend vacation in another space thousand light years away. Next passage is regarding mobile phone. Mobile phone is another useful invention of the world. Like computer, mobile phones help us greatly in our daily life. Through mobiles, we can connect the whole world. Only a few years ago, we had difficulty to contact our near and dear ones. That was very costly too. Mobile phones are very handy and we can use them for communication with people at a very low cost. Mobile phones have different functions such as making calls, listening to music, taking photographs, storing information, etc. Even it can be used for distance learning. Okay, so this is all about passage. This passage is related to MCQ. Now we are going to learn some MCQs from the text. Everybody write in your classwork copy. It is page number 372. So, I will open at page 372 and it is MCQ. Question number 1. It is MCQ part. So, in MCQ part, four options are given. You will just choose the correct answer from four options. Okay, first question, they are awesome and fabulous, no doubt, here the word awesome is similar to, four options are given, so I am, uh, I am just writing the number, so fabulous, here uh, similar of fabulous, the word awesome is similar to, not fabulous, awesome, awesome is similar to amazing, that means answer is 1B, one B. One B. Second question, the invention of the computer is very important in human life. Here invention means four options are given, so answer is C, means discovery. Here invention means discovery. So question number two, answer is C. Next, there are awesome and fabulous, no doubt, which of the following words is synonym of the word fabulous? So four options. So answer is marvelous, that means question number 3, answer is A. Next, with computer a person can always keep himself updated. What does updated mean? So answer is 
four options are here answer is get enriched with the latest new information that means uh, it is it is question number four in fact the computer has made people's work easier and faster the term in fact means here question number four in fact means really that means answer is a next with computer a person can always keep himself updated what does updated mean so updated mean here get en enriched with the latest new information that means five answer is a next question number six only a few years ago we had difficulty to contact our near and dear ones which of the following words has opposite meaning to difficult here opposite meaning of difficulty that means question number six answer is a difficulty opposite meaning is next the wonders of the present world are answer is unbelievable four options are given that means seven number is unbelievable here b answer is b next now people travel faster than a uh, bird that means answer is d eight answer is d next space caps have won the mars that means nine number answer is b last one whole world can be connected through mobile phones that means 10 number answer is a okay so i think you have understood these are the answers of mcq that means our mcq part is finished now we are going to the next passage that is related to information transfer that is page number now come to page number 374 Page number 374. Okay, now you are going to read the text. What is the reason of frequent load shedding? That means the passage is related to load shedding. What is the meaning of the word load shedding? Load shedding means discontinuation of electric supply. Press reports say that there is a shortage in electricity production. According to the Power Development Authority, the demand for electricity a few years ago was more than 6,000 megawatt a day, while the supply remained around 4,200 megawatt. In the rural areas, the Rural Electrification Board could supply barely half of the total demand, which was around 2,400 megawatt per day. In the capital city, the demand stood at around 1,400 megawatt, while the supply amounted to 650 megawatt. As a result, load shedding is unavoidable for the time being, but situation is improving very fast. Okay, so this passage is related to our information transfer. I think you all understand about information transfer. That means some blanks will be given and some information also will be given. From the passage, you will just pick the correct information and put it in the blank. So it is 3A. Question number 3A, you will write in your password copy. Question number 3A. It is regarding information transfer. Okay. So everybody write in class work copy. We will just try to find out the answer from the passage. So here, given electricity, then demand, then supply, then deficit. The last word deficit means crisis. And as well as five blanks are given. So now everybody try to answer. I am also giving answer. You just match your answer with me. 
information transfer first a it is given electricity nationwide demand what is the demand of nationwide that means from the passage we have got it is 6000 megawatt that means answer of a will be 6000 megawatt it is the answer of a next b what is the supply of nationwide so supply we have got from the passage supply is 4200 megawatt 4200 megawatt so these are the answers of the blank of information transfer you will be write it okay then c deficit 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 means crisis that means demand is 6000 and supply is 4200 so what is the deficit crisis that means if, if we subtract from this uh, from from this to this then we will get deficit, deficit is 1800 megawatt 1800 megawatt okay then rural area rural area demand demand so d will be answer of d will be demand is 4800 megawatt 4800 megawatt so supply supplies from the text we have got it is just 2400 megawatt 2400 megawatt so this is these are all about information transfer and we have also already got the answers also okay so i think everybody has understood now come to next passage which is related to our true false this is also page number 374 you will get this passage also at page number 374 we are now we are going to read the text so the text is about Jainul Abedin Jainul Abedin was born at a village in Kishorgans in 1904 in 1914 his father Tumizuddin was a police officer he did not like hard and fast rule of school and so he drew pictures secretly he had a great interest in art so at the age of 15 he went to Kolkata to see art school at the age of 19, he was admitted into Kolkata Government Art College. In 1938, he became first class first in the art college and in the same year he was awarded gold medal in all India art exhibition. He drew a lot of pictures of famine during the Second World War in 1939. His name and fame spread all over the world from then. In 1948, he founded the Dhaka Art Institution in Dhaka. He was appointed principal of this institution in 1949. This institution was shifted to the present Art Institute building in 1956. By dint of his hard effort, within Seven years, this institution turned into Charukala Mohabiddaloy. He retired from this institution in 1967. Common people were not neglected in his art. He drew pen pictures of them. He became a visiting professor in Dhaka University in 1973. He earned honorary doctorate in 1974 from Delhi University and in the same year he became national professor of Bangladesh. He died on the 28th May in 1976 in Dhaka. So this passage is all about regarding Johnny Labedin and it is related to our true false. Now we are going to answer true false. That means there are some statements are given. If the statement is true, we will write T and if the statement is false, we will write F. Here, 
If this statement is false, we have to write the correct answer. Okay. Now, everybody come to page number 375. Page number 375. It is 3B. B regarding true false. Okay, so here first statement is given Joinul was greatly interested in art. First sentence. So according to the, to the text, I think the statement is correct. Joinul was greatly interested in art. So one number, if it is true, we will write T, if it is false, we will write F. That means first statement is true, so we will just write T. So first answer is finished. Second sentence, Joyud was admitted to Kolkata Government Art College when he was a child. So according to the text, I think this answer is false. So as it is false, we will write F and if it is false, we have to write the correct answer also. So, correct answer Okay, so second statement is false and correct answer is Joinul was admitted to Kolkata Government Art College while he was an adult of 19. Next sentence is he was appointed principal of Dhaka Art Institute in 1949. So according to the text, answer is correct. So we will write T. Next sentence. He retired from Delhi University in 1974. According to the text, sentence is wrong. That means it is false. Okay, so correct answer is he earned honorary doctorate in 1974 from Delhi University. Last statement, Joinur breathed his last in 1976. So according to the text, answer is correct. Okay, so this is all about true false. Now our last question that is fill in the blanks. Fill in the blanks, about fill in the blanks, I think everybody knows. There will be a passage, and in the passage, there will be some blanks. And blanks are related to, suppose, A, B, C, D, like this. And at the very beginning of the question, all the clues are given. That means you will just pick the appropriate clue from the box and put it in the blank. Okay, so now we are in fill in the blanks. The passage is given and we will just write answer. I am also giving you answer. You just match my answer with you. Everybody write in your class for copy.
So this is question number four. Question number four, it is fill in the blanks. Okay, all the clues are given at the very beginning. Clues are treasures, sons, one, of, field, digging, the, in, said, found, lived. Okay, now passage. Let us read the story of an old farmer and his lazy sons. Once there lived an old farmer, so here blank, A. Eh? That means blank. After blank, it is written a certain village. So once there lived an old farmer in a certain village. That means first answer will be in. Have you been writing class one copy? Then he had three blank. So in this blank, he had three sons. Right, sons. Next. They are strong, healthy, but lazy. Then next blank, C. It is blank and day. He was on the point, dash, death. That means C is one day. One day, he was one day. So write one. And D. One day, he was on the point, blank. So it will be off. On the point of death. He called his sons and blank. So here in this blank it will be said. Next. My dear sons, there is blank hidden in our fields. So this blank will be treasure. Next. Dig the blank and find out it. So in this blank it will be dig the field. Dig the field and find out it. Saying this, here also blank, saying this, the old farmer, here will be the, the old farmer died. His sons started Blank again. Started digging. Digging the fields, but no treasure was blank. No treasure was found. Okay, so this is all about filling the blanks and all the answers are given also. Now we are going to end the class. So everybody write diary. So our today's diary is Homework. Learn plus write. It is model question. 24. 1 to 4. You will just learn and write. Homework. Learn plus write. Model question. 24. And question number 1 to 4. So we will write. Okay, thank you all. Have a nice day.